discharge today. I um, just had this cap, this valve put in my chest. And that's to assist in case I need dialysis urgently. Um, so I'm going back to my room, waiting on transportation to come and get me. And I'm headed, we're going to get a hotel here in Charlotte because I got to come over here at 7 o'clock in the morning. It has been a journey. <clears throat> this is day number five. Day number five, you guys. And <clears throat> Mama Bree is still sore. Um, but Mama Bree still have a praise in her heart. And I'm so encouraged on today, y'all. I'm so encouraged. Just be encouraged and stay encouraged. And God has not forgotten y'all. Look how Mama Bree done got gray. Because it's nerve wracking when you're having surgery. I know I got, I'm surprised my hair ain't fully white. scary all these procedures I had to go through and I'm so sore oh my god I could barely walk but anyway they have me out of work for three months but they're probably gonna work I couldn't stay on three months so I'm gonna just do what I can do though because I am a pusher but I'm not gonna overdo it but I'm gonna push myself as much as I'm comfortable with so y'all yeah, ain't got to worry about that. Because um, sometimes it's hard to just sit in the house all day, all day, every day, every day. But I'll do what I can. And I thank y'all so much for y'all prayers, y'all support, your words of encouragement. I thank y'all. I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart, of my heart. And that's what it's all about. And that's what we have to do for each other. And it was my turn. And I thank y'all for being right there for me. I love you all, and I'll talk to y'all when I get to the hotel. Bye bye, honeys. Got your butt. Ring the bell. Blue kidney for you some Miss Angela. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> all right. She was nervous and upset and anxious, and she was scared. And what did I tell you? to take a deep breath and hold on. And when she went to surgery, I told her do not be to go to surgery without me laying eyes on her. And what did I tell you in your ear? It was her second birthday. Amen. God has given you this, this precious gift. You have your birthday from your mother, but you got a birthday from God to, uh, that day. We're glad that you received this gift, that you are going to be here with all of us. And you come back like you told me, and you come see me. And I want to know how you are doing. We all do. Y'all have been a pleasure as a family and as a patient to take care of. God bless you. Now, I want you to take this pendulum, and I want you to go across this really loud, because I want the whole seventh floor to hear all of us in this celebration of your life. Amen. Yay! Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, folks. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes thank Lord. you. Yes, <laughs> Dang, Nikki. Nikki got people crying. Thank you. Mm -mm. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. God bless. Thank y'all for taking care of my sister. Thank all of y'all. Thank y'all so much. God got you, baby. Yes. 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 It's our pleasure, Miss Prince. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Continue to heal. Yes. Like looking at it. See how it's got this blood on it? It's dry. Ooh, it I know, baby. I'm so sorry. I should have forewarned you. It's like a bee sting, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's this medicine that I'm cleaning it with, okay? Okay. okay. That's with boobies. I always have these problems. Right? Mm. I'm just cleaning up underneath. I don't like dry blood. I'm kind of like the 
the Nazi of blood. God's blood will give you the infection of a lifetime if you let it. Yeah. Okay? So you see how I kind of lifted it up a little mm -hmm. bit and I looked up underneath it and then I'm just kind of getting these flakes off. But the in, this area that I really wanted clean, that's already clean. Okay. I got you. Now what you do is you let it dry. You want it to dry naturally. Okay. Okay. If you are rushed in this process, mm -hmm. you're going to have a problem. Okay. If this thing dries, well, the way that this stuff works is it's got to dry. Okay. Then what we do is we put this around it. This has some of this medicine in it. Mm -hmm. And it just is time lapse. Mm -hmm. Also, if it's not, if you see that it's kind of like foggy up underneath it, mm -hmm. that means the dressing needs to be changed. Okay. Okay. So you just call us up and we'll change it. I'm praying to the good Lord, you are not going to need this garbage. Okay. You notice how I put it on here where I got this half side, the slit over mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. Because when I take the dressing off, I want to be able to pull, pull it, it down. and come right. down with it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And see how now I've let it dry completely. Mm -hmm. okay. I take this part off here, and then I kind of line up where I want it to be, which is right there. Okay. Oh. Right there. Okay. And then I just press. I make sure this is sealed up tight. And you see how it's not foggy? Mm -hmm. Okay. You see how that's nice and down? Yes. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I used to put lines in for a living, and that was our one thing. You better know how to change a good dressing. Yeah. Because we get infections all the all time. All the time, yeah. Here, and you don't want nobody getting an infection. All right. So my big thing is always right here at the entrance site, okay? <clears throat> Gang, look who I am with. I don't want you to see my badge. You don't I don't want to. My, you don't even I got no badge. My badge in the room. But guess who I am with, y'all? Who would have thought God would have brought me and Sam's world together at the hospital, y'all? Gang, 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 gang. gang. So make sure when y'all watching this vlog, make sure y'all go check out Sam's world. Her link will be in the description below. Go show her some love. She'll do good mukbang. She, she got her water, baby. Yes, I got baby. baby. I, I got, got my water, 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 baby. I got, I got my baby. baby. I got hey. my water, baby. Yep. She is so good. And cool. <laughs> I love when she do her song, y'all. So make sure you go check her out. And we love y'all. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> so we left Charlotte on October 3rd and to head back home to Raleigh. Um, it's about three hours away. So, of course, that's a lot of back and forth. So we go home just to, like, wash clothes, you know, pack a new bag and just spend time with our family. You know, we miss our loved ones. Um, so we go back home and we're just hanging out. And yeah, so that's what I'm about to show you guys. Me and Rayshawn about to drop Mama Bree's machine off, and we're super exciting. All right, y'all. So, so right now we this is Mama Bree's dialysis machine. We are officially dropping it off at the dialysis center for someone else who may need it. It has been a journey, and this is it, y'all. This is Mama Bree's onto a new journey, and we're so happy. Bye-bye, machine. Bye-bye. I got it. Machine's going bye-bye. All right, y'all. So this is Mama Bree's port. Dialysis port right here. Oh, she's about to get this changed. No more dialysis, y'all. So this is going to be taken out. Um, that's right praise the lord praise the lord this week so we're excited about that today is october 8th and we're what nine days post-op today ten days post-op ten days post-op since her surgery and she's doing pretty good so thank y'all for the prayers so after she has her first appointment at, with her nephrologist in Charlotte, we were go out to we go out to lunch after her appointment, and we find out that her hemoglobin was at like a six, and this means that her body is not getting enough blood flow and oxygen to the heart and brain, 
and she's extremely anemic which mama Bree has always been anemic but this has never been this severe like this and i don't think she even knew how severe it was um she was feeling kind of like weak and stuff but we thought it was part of the transplant you know the healing process but kind of find out it's because she's like, severely anemic so we had to be rushed to the hospital this was not in our plans we thought we were going to go back to the hotel and relax because mind you guys i've been on go since the 27 when we first got the call so I was panicking, she was panicking, she wasn't feeling good, she had no energy. So we had to rush to the hospital and we had to get a blood transfusion. We got to the hospital at 12 p.m. noon and didn't leave the hospital till 3 a.m. in the morning. So here's some clips of us, you know, in the hospital and her getting a blood transfusion. It was very emotional for me. I never seen my mom like this before. Like she just was so weak and I was by myself and I didn't have any support and I was just all to pieces myself and... You guys can just see it on my face, but I wanted to share this guys with you that things could turn around. Things could be looking good, but it can turn around too. And you just got to make sure you keep your head up and keep praying and, and just keep the faith and just know it's going to be okay. I love y'all. Here y'all go. Hi y'all. So this is something else that we're going through. So she went to her first doctor's appointment today, as you guys saw earlier in the vlog. Then she got a call that she needed a blood transfusion. So... Now we're here back at the hospital trying to figure out what's going on or how her levels, you know, how long it's going to take to do a transfusion. So, this is another possibility if you guys get a transplant. This is something, I mean, this could happen to you. I mean, you know, so just wanted to give you guys an update on what we're doing. And she doesn't feel that great right now. So. Oh, guys. Got my baby. Up. Oh, she got her arm covered up. But this is the blood transfusion. Or so tomorrow, I think she's gonna be feeling like a new woman. Ready, chest aid. She has to have two of these bags right here. Bags. So yeah guys, thank you to the donors. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to have blood. Or kidney. Hey gang, so it's 2 a.m. in the morning and she's just getting done with her blood transfusion. So... Right now we're just waiting a little while until she's able to get discharged so we can get ready to go to the hotel. So we've been here since 12 p.m. and it's 2 a.m. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. 2 o'clock right there, y'all. 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> 